Hi everybody, I'm Kevin Ioli, the boxing columnist at Yahoo Sports, and welcome to my coverage of the Floyd Mayweather-Canelo Alvarez fight. Today I want to give a tip for Canelo Alvarez, what I think is going to be a very important key for him in this fight, if he's to beat Floyd Mayweather. There's a lot of thought on how to beat Floyd Mayweather, and Canelo Alvarez has the kind of power that has some people thinking he may be the one to do it. However, I don't think Canelo should go headhunting. Floyd Mayweather is one of the best defensive fighters in the world, one of the best defensive fighters of all time. He has a great chin, and to knock him out with a shot to the head, I think it's going to take multiple punches to the chin, not just one. I don't think you're going to hit Floyd Mayweather on the chin and knock him out with one punch. So I think it's going to take two, three, four punches, a combination from Canelo Alvarez to the head in order to knock Floyd Mayweather out. And whether he can do that is very doubtful. I don't know that Canelo can put that kind of combination together. Together. However, what I think is the secret weapon for Canelo here is he is an outstanding body puncher. Canelo needs to go downstairs hard early and often, and really fight as if he's trying to break Floyd Mayweather's ribs. He may take some shots on the inside because Floyd Mayweather is a terrific inside fighter, and he has a great arsenal of punches when he's clinching with his opponent. He's also so good defensively that he's not that easy to hit to the body, but every fighter is easier to hit to the body than they are to the head, and I think given the circumstances in this fight, it is incumbent upon Canelo Alvarez to go to the body early, often, and very very hard. If Canelo goes to the body, he'll set himself up for later in the fight where perhaps he'll negate one of Floyd's great advantages, which is his conditioning. Floyd has been in marvelous shape his entire career, usually in far better shape than as an opponent, and when it gets into around 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12, he's able to pick it up when the opponent is sliding backwards. I think in this fight, if Canelo goes to the body, he may negate that, and he may make it a more even fight going down the stretch, and he may get that knock. Out. I appreciate everybody listening to this and reading my coverage on Yahoo Sports. Pay attention all week. We have a lot more to come.